Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling an interesting question that many developers ponder. Is a list better than a vector when we need to store the last n items? Our viewer points out that while vectors are often recommended, lists might actually be more efficient for this specific scenario. Let's break it down together. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we're gonna to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution for you. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you get to that resolution. Now, let's continue on to the video. Let's explore whether a list is better than a vector for storing the last n items. First, we need to understand the basic operations involved. In our example, we want to store the last five items seen. Initially, we have the items 3, 24, 51, 62, and 37. At each iteration, we remove the first item and add a new item at the end. This means we need to consider the performance of these operations. For a vector, removing the first item requires shifting all other items, leading to O-N complexity. In contrast, a list allows O-1 complexity for both operations. So your understanding is correct. Using a list is more efficient for this scenario of storing the last N items. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. When storing the last n items, the choice between list and vector depends on the size of n. For small n, like the last five items, vector is likely to outperform list. For larger sizes, such as the last 500 items, Vector is still faster than list, but dkey may take the lead. However, for very large sizes, like the last 5 million items, vector becomes the slowest option. A ring buffer using std array or std vector could be even faster for these scenarios. In general, start with a simple implementation and only optimize if profiling indicates a performance issue. Using std to queue or a pre-built ring buffer is usually sufficient unless profiling shows a need for custom solutions. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. If you need to store the last n items, consider using a queue or a circular buffer. Standard options include std stack for LIFO and std dkey for FIFO. You can also use boost circular buffer or create your own circular buffer. Here's a simple implementation of a circular buffer in C++. It allows you to push back elements and access them efficiently, wrapping around when the capacity is reached. When working with a small number of elements, like five, prioritize a solution that is quick to implement and functions correctly.
Let's now look at another user suggested answer. This user presents a minimal implementation of a circular buffer in C++. They invite feedback and suggestions for improvements. In the usage example, the circular buffer is demonstrated with an array of integers. It shows how to store and access the last five items efficiently. To compile the code, use the specified G++ command with C++17 standards. A link is provided for an online demo. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. Yes, using a list is better than a vector for storing the last n items. This is because removing elements from the end of a vector has a linear time complexity. Estadecki is a great alternative, as it allows constant time insertion and removal at both ends, making it more efficient than StatList. For more details, check the links provided for Stead Vector and Stead Adiki. Let's now look at another user suggested answer. This response introduces a ring buffer based DQ template class. It's designed to store the last n items efficiently without requiring default constructability of the type. The class includes basic functionalities like adding and removing items from both ends, but lacks iterators and copy or move constructors for now. It uses a static assertion to ensure the size is manageable and includes methods for checking if the buffer is empty or full. Overall, this implementation is a solid starting point for a ring buffer, suitable for scenarios where you need to keep track of the last n items. And that's it guys. We've gone through, I hope you found your resolution and found the answer you're looking for. If it helped, please hit subscribe, really appreciate it. And be on the lookout for more technical help videos. Have a good one.